Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last episode, our friend Landon the Llama had snuck away from his boring farm and up a side of a mountain. He was looking for an adventure because llamas are made for adventures or so he thought. During this adventure, he came across humans. You know, those scary, weird things with things strapped under their toes. And Oh, yes, La- uh, Landon was very confused and had to spit at one of the humans to get them away. And, oh, dear, let's see what happens next. It was midday and Landon the llama had snuck away from his farm, up the side of a small foothill, and down a hiking path at the top. His, his mother had been napping and Landon hoped that he had enough time to make it back before she noticed he was missing. It had been a quiet venture until Landon came upon a family of humans out for a hike. Like I said, he tried to spit at them and just landed a giant spitball on the little boy's shoe. Mom! Mom, this llama! It's gross! It just spit on me! The boy told his mom. Oh my! What is this baby llama doing out here anyways? The mother said as she came a little closer. There's no way it should be out here on its own. Landon knew that he didn't have much time before all four of these humans were trying to get him back to his home. He had to think fast. He could he could either run past them or head back the way he came. He decided that he was best off running past them. Here goes nothing. Landon raced past them and down the path. He didn't even turn back until he reached a fork in the road. Sure, good thing I have speed, he thought. You might think of llamas as a slow grazing animal, but they can run up to 40 miles per hour. Wow, this critter skill is one way they can keep safe from predators like mountain lions or even coyotes. Landon headed to the path on the right and kept moving pretty quickly to make sure the humans wouldn't catch up to him. Without realizing, Landon had made his way to a very lush, very green section of a new valley he'd never seen before. Before he knew it, he was standing at the base of a ginormous mountain, very, very far away from his small farm. Wow, this is new. Actually, this is, this is really new. I, I don't even, I don't even know where I am. He tried to stretch his super long neck to get a view to the left and to the right of him. Uh, that's strange. I thought the far was over there. Very quickly, Landon realized he was lost. And it was getting dark fast. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. This is, this is very bad. Mama Llama's going to be so mad. She's probably wondering where I am. He was getting very worried. Landon decided to just start walking along the foothill he'd just been up on. He knew it was important to keep moving, 
He was an easy prey out there by himself. Landon anxiously walked and walked as the sun set behind him. Every little sound startled him, and every step he took, he moved a little faster. Moments from tears, and just when Landon thought he might have to give up forever, Landon heard a familiar sound. He heard off way in the distance, and he heard it again. Mama Llama! exclaimed Landon. This familiar sound was the sound of his mother humming for him. Wow, isn't that amazing how llamas communicate by humming to each other? Yeah, they make slightly different humming sounds to mean different things. I have to call back to her. Then he let out a small worried. Mm. He immediately heard a call back. Back and forth, back and forth, Landon and his mother hummed to each other. With each hum, Landon walked closer and closer to the sound of his mama llama. And each time, his mama's hum got louder and louder. Landon rounded a huge wall of rocks. Right in front of him, about a hundred yards away, was his farm and his mama llama. Mama! He called and started running towards her. He could see the excitement in his mom's eyes as she waited for him at the fence. Oh, Landon, I thought you were gone forever. However did you get so far away? She said. I'm sorry, Mama. A small adventure turned into a very bad idea. I'll never do that again, he said. Landon realized that being safe with his family was a much better feeling than an adventure all alone. That night, he cozied up in his bed of hay under his little shelter and looked up at the stars. He was now a very happy and content llama that was now very thankful for his safe home. The end. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Great job, you listened all the way to the end. All right, my critter protectors, how are we doing today? I hope you're doing super duper. And tomorrow sounds like a great day to do something amazing for a critter near you. So maybe in a space near you outside, you can start to build your own critter space for a friend, like a squirrel or bird or some other kind of critter. All critters need food, water, and shelter. And that's our job to make sure they have access to those three things. Well, my friends, I'm going to start thinking about how I'm going to help the critters in my backyard. You should too. I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye! Bye!